If you have kidney stones or you're predisposed for kidney stone, you have to know about a plant called Shanka Piedra. Hello, I am Christian Ropo, I'm a stem cell scientist and herbal. It's a plant that has had many different names. I just learned from the comment that in the Caribbean they call it seed underleaf. I was traveling in Thailand earlier this year and walking in the jungle and suddenly right there on the ground Shanka Piedra was there. It grows everywhere in the world. It is a weed everywhere in the world that is some sort of a, a tropical area. Uh, and what is beautiful about that plant is that it's one form of what they call morphism. So you have on the plant, under the leaf, they say seed under the leaf, they look like little rocks. And that plant is good for kidney stone. Now, in, the, in South America, they call it Shanka Piedra. Shanka means break, Piedra means stone. It's a stone breaker. And to me, it's like mind-boggling. How is it that healers centuries ago would call a plant stone breaker at a time when I am sure none of them had ever seen what a kidney is, how a kidney is working, that the pain that you have is due to a stone in your kidney, and yet they call that plant stone breaker. And the scientific studies later have shown that indeed, if you take a tea of Shanka Piedra, the leaf of Shanka Piedra, it will break your kidney stone in millions of pieces that you will pass without feeling them. So it's, this is an amazing plant. If you have kidney stone, get yourself some Shanka Piedra or extracts of Shanka Piedra. Make a tea out of it. It tastes, it's very neutral, so it, there's no problem with taste. Do this a few times a day and, uh, and you will pass your kidney stone without knowing.